so many things in our world in the 21st century are related to science. Major issues, major phenomena that we see, we experience that influence citizens, including future scientists, um, have some kind of scientific basis in, in them. Um, and I think it's really important for, for the, our citizens, um, whether they're in Spain or in the United States or wherever, to, to be able to, to develop the competence to use their science background to find concepts and apply them to everyday situations, such as everyday situations of health and nutrition, of environment and resources, of natural hazards, um, things that, that we hear about almost every day in the newspaper and to move so the citizens have some knowledge and understanding of those as they have to apply um, their own uh, knowledge in life situations. A teachable moment is when the teacher does something in, in the context of the 5e model that is unexpected that the student realizes they, they think they're going to see one thing and they see something very different. Um, in, the, in, the nat in the natural world, um, having an earthquake occur would be a teachable moment that, and that's natural phenomenon. Um, doing something that, that, having the teacher do something that causes cognitive conflict. That's, that's a more complex term for it's unexpected. If I drop something and it goes up, the student's going to go, what is that? And you, you then have a teachable moment. Two factors become important. The, the most concrete response to your question is, in the engage, to think about something that really engages the student. It can be as simple as a question. It can be a demonstration that has some unexpected consequence, uh, result. Um, that ha that's the first step. The challenge then, and one of the things that, that I've tried to express across the 5e model, is you sustain that engagement um, and, and you put the pieces together for the student to learn what it is that you're trying to uh, have them learn. Right. The research that, that I first appealed to with the, with the Science Curriculum Improvement Study their learning outcomes. Did the students learn what it was that was in science curriculum improvement study? Uh, I had experience teaching that. I also knew uh, Bob Karplus and Mike Atkin, who, um, well, Mike is still alive. Um, Bob isn't. Um, and, and they had uh, conducted a whole series of research studies that had to do with first the fidelity to the different stages in their model and um, basically did the students learn the very fundamental educational question in the end. Uh, did the, the, the addition to that that I would put on and one that I've mentioned to you is what was the fidelity the, the teach of the teacher's use of the model in classrooms uh, across time. I would say to engage the learner and then without without kind of elaborating all the rest of the 5e model, to have the teacher pay a very close attention 
to how the student responds to the phenomenon in which he or she, the student, is engaged and to carefully listen and address the, the current conceptions of, referred to as misconceptions, the current conceptions of the students and to help them re reconstruct a way of thinking and explaining phenomena in the world. That's, that's a brief answer. Um, if, if you ask me to, well, you'll give me another paragraph to, to do that. The, the how, to, how the teacher helps the students reconstruct their explanation requires some challenge um, that where the student realizes there's an inadequacy in the way they're explaining the world, the phenomenon that they have witnessed, and, and a careful, almost clinical uh, restructuring of, of what, how the student explains that so it is more scientific, so the exp explanation is more scientific. Um, that's a, a fairly long answer. Um, the short answer would be lecturing isn't the way that, that really facilitates the reconstruction. Um, that it's a careful interaction between the teacher and the students in the classroom especially as it focuses on some phenomenon, some things that they're doing. It may be an actual hands-on uh, activity. It may be something that is a simulation and using educational technology. It can be just the, the dialogue between the teacher and the student. It can also be the dialogue of, of student to student. Um, challenging one another and going back and talking about and, and having, having them explain to one another the, how the phenomenon occurs, what they understand about it, and so on. Well, first of all, how, how the 5e model helps teachers, the, the first part of, of an answer to you is that teachers, they're professionals and their world is teaching. So one of the reasons that I think the 5e model has become very popular is it answers their question. I have to teach. How do I, how do I teach better? Oh, if I, if I engage, explore, explain, and so on. So, so that does at least part of it. Um, answering the question for the teachers. The second part, the um, 21st century skills, um, adaptability, complex communication, non-routine um, non problem solving, um, systems thinking are all available as learning outcomes when you use the 5e model and especially when you're doing something that has some active mental engagement of students working as groups. So they have to learn how to adapt to one another, they have to learn how to communicate, they have to learn how to solve problems, they have to apply systems thinking and so on.